Hi, Josh Sinners with tidbits.com here. We're talking about dark mode in macOS Mojave. You know, for the longest time, uh, I mean, basically forever, you know, uh, macOS has had these uh, light interface elements, you know, the white menu bar or some variation of it, white clear dock, um, just a very bright kind of interface, just a lot of light going on here. And, uh, you know, if you tend to work in darker environments, or if you're like me and your eyes are more sensitive to light, that can, uh, that can really cause, I mean, literally cause headaches for you. So thankfully, uh, Mojave introduces a true dark mode. Now, macOS for a while has had, uh, you know, a setting you could have, you know, dark menu bars and stuff like that, but it wasn't really a dark mode as we think of it, uh, you know, like the, a lot of apps in iOS have. So Mojave has a true dark mode. I'm going to show you how you use it. Unfortunately, there isn't a like mini bar shortcut. There isn't uh, you know a any kind of shortcut uh, except you just gotta go to Apple up here, System Preferences, or you can use Spotlight, of course. Go to General, and then click Dark. Now it's gonna take a second for the transition. Oh, there we go. That went pretty quick. So you're gonna notice that several changes just happened. The menu bar is dark, as is the dock as is this window background here and the bar up here. So, and also, and this is a, a neat little touch, the, uh, the desktop wallpaper changed. Now, um, if you switch away from the default wallpaper, I always keep the default wallpapers. I don't have time to mess with wallpapers. Uh, you go to System Preferences, Desktop, and Screensaver, you can, of course, set that manually. You know, you can, I mean, you could override it, but, takes some of the fun away. So uh, l let's see what this looks like. So first I have Google Chrome here just to show you an example of an app that isn't built by Apple. Not every app is going to be totally compliant with this. Like you look up here, you know, this is kind of dark, but it's transparent anyway, but the, you know, nothing really changes. So some things are going to stick out, but now if I go to Safari, see I have all this, uh, this dark, window stuff here. So that, of course, naturally, Safari is going to uh, work better with dark mode out of the gate. Hopefully Google updates Chrome as well, but you know, I wouldn't hold my breath. Here's the new Mac App Store, which is very nice and looks uh, delightful in either uh, light mode or dark mode. There's just a blank desktop. Uh, okay, here's the Photos app with dark mode. And for me, this is a lot easier because now uh, you know, I can focus on the photos. I'm not getting blinded by the, the white background. And it even works in messages. Here's a message uh, I have open with Jeff Carlson here. And you can see it's nice and dark. It works in mail. Uh, so, you know, when you're composing a message, it can be totally black if, uh, if you want that. Also, Finder. Uh, you know, I mean, everything dark, you know, and, and one of the things I like, too, is that uh, there's different shades of dark. You have sort of a, a gray up here and almost kind of blue color here in the sidebar. And then uh, it looks to be pure black or close to it with the actual background here. So there, there is a lot of contrast still, even in the dark mode. You know, Apple did a great job of thinking this out. This is the new home app. And, you know, these use UI kit because uh, they're basically just iOS apps that have been ported directly uh, to the Mac from iOS. And so this is still uh, light. It doesn't work quite, quite right, but up here, you know, the bar up here is kind of dark. Here's the new Stocks app, which uh, of course works very well in dark mode. Uh, you know, it's a very nice looking app. And then uh, the new voice memos, which uh, this stuff hasn't synced over yet. Oh, and uh, news. So, you know, you get the, the dark bar over here. Of course, here, uh, the background of the content is going to remain the same. So, you know, I, I, there may be a setting we can turn on for tidbits that will make this dark in dark mode. I don't know. But that just kind of gives you an idea. There are going to be some incongruities. Uh, but, you know, overall, if you're like me and you have your eyes are sensitive to light, this is a huge improvement. Thanks for watching and be sure to like and subscribe.